the global financial elite adapted after 2008 by taking actions its own theory said were impossible so you have half of the adaptation so they print money they, they, they do fiscal stimulus they save banks with, with state money um, these people who did this believe that the state should take as few actions as possible in the economy. Even though you, they are kept, the same guys are, are going to universities and teaching the old ideas. As if none of this had happened. Like a bad dream. But the adaptation I speak about is a bigger one. If you walk through Madrid, you will see buildings, the great buildings built in the last era of, you know, of capitalist adaptation. It's true in most European capitals. A time, you know, time from the 1890s to 1910. You had rising incomes. Technological revolution. Many technologies replaced with completely new technologies. New a new normal in terms of lifestyle. So, in economic theory, we call this a high value synthesis. Higher wages, new technology, new needs, higher GDP. And my argument is simply that we have been through many of these adaptations in the history of capitalism, but the information technology makes it impossible to, to do that kind, of that kind of adaptation. Information technology doesn't create new value. It doesn't create more expensive things, it creates cheaper things. It, 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 it prevents, in many ways, uh, workers from uh, pursuing high wage solutions to, their, to the decline of old industries. You know, so ten years ago it was common to hear that biotechnology would be a new industry where, where lots of jobs would be created. The cost of sequencing DNA falls like this. Over ten years, just literally, it falls on the cliff. It falls, it falls faster than Moore's law is improving performance of, uh, uh, of, uh, of, of uh, silicon chips. Um, Moore's law. Moore's law improves the performance of silicon chips like this. Um, yeah, yeah. It, they are more efficient, but but. In fact, I'm not sure I believe this, Pero no estoy de but Deloitte, the consultancy, Pero Deloitte, la describe the emergence of, they say, this exponential improvement in the performance of information technology. Will not stop, nor will it stabilize. No parará, ni tampoco se estabilizará. E even if that is a little bit too much hyperbole, Incluso Aunque eso sea demasiado eh, hiperbolístico, demasiado sigue siendo que eh, la tecnología de la información abarata todo. And therefore, the high value synthesis is very hard to find in a market economy. Es muy difícil de encontrar en una, en una economía del mercado. I think we will find a synthesis that is high value in human terms, but not in market terms. Humano, pero no a nivel mercado. And in this sense, all the, the, the post-capitalist thesis says is, is that 
Utopian socialism is possible because of technology. Es que el socialismo utópico es posible, es posible. Technology makes utopian socialism possible. The socialism of abundance, not scarcity. Es la, la teoría de la abundancia, no de la, no, de la escasez. No, madam, you asked me uh, some specific questions. Um, the, the, Has hecho una, una yeah. pregunta específica. Um, the, in, I, I think this, the, in summary, what you were basically saying is that given what happened to Greece, um, isn't it utopian to expect to try and uh, enact the front end of what I'm arguing for, so debt restructuring, uh, basic income, and, and um, helping the rich to be unburdened of the I mean, the sustainability and energy to energy systems of countries and large companies. Yet they have to look into their souls and ask themselves, does neoliberalism work? I think it's just manifestly obvious it doesn't work. So just as uh, Roosevelt in the early 1930s had to throw away a lifetime of doctrine that he'd been taught in the free market era, Keynes too, Keynes is a, is a global, a liberal globalizing small state guy. Es un tipo, eh, de, uh, he is a liberal, he wants liberal. global global capitalism, que he wants a small state, global. he wants un the entrepreneur to be rewarded. Ten, ten years later he is saying we should kill the entrepreneur. Dice, Hay que matar al he uses the phrase euthanasia for the entrepreneur. Utiliza la frase, eutanasia yeah. para uh, el because, because Times, as he said famously, the facts have changed. I will change my mind. And this is why, although, as you know, my book has been enthusiastically uh, well welcomed by the radical left, I believe it is, it is of great relevance to, to those within socialism, traditional mainstream socialism, and even liberalism, who are asking themselves. What, what comes after neoliberalism? ¿Qué viene después del neoliberalism? Because there is a dystopian future coming Porque after neoliberalism, futuro which is going to be like technological feudalism, que será una especie de feudalismo tecnológico, where the, the rich get richer and everybody else uh, is cada vez más. trading micro amounts of labor on things los, like TaskRabbit, Uber. Los están intercambiando micro cantidades de trabajo a través de uh, redes como Uber. O it, it can work, but it isn't. The, it's not a third industrial revolution. Pero no es una tercera revolución industrial.